Hello there guys, welcome back to another video here on National Vlogs. Today we have the official announcement from Fort Park Resort as they have announced their new walkthrough experience for 2020 and they've also announced once again we're getting a year of events just like we did in 2018 and 19. So let's talk about the main or the headliner of this year which is their brand new walkthrough experience called Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now I've never watched Black Mirror I've heard this on Netflix. I don't really watch Netflix anymore. So yeah, this is the description for it. Brand new in 2020, you're invited to play test the labyrinth as Fort Park Resort launches the world's first live Black Mirror experience with Black Mirror Labyrinth. Get lost as you enter a hypnotic maze using cutting edge visual technology and sensory defying environments. Will you keep your grip on reality or will you lose yourself in the main frame as this unpredictable digitalized dimension reveals an uneasy truth that manipulates and displaces your very existence? So one thing we do know about this is that it's not upcharge. It's free entry included in your entry ticket. So obviously because it's another IP, we can see it. Potentially, I'm in quite big queues, and I reckon Fast Track's probably going to be expensive for it, as they always are. Um, it has been confirmed it's going in Old Town. Um, it is pushing towards, uh, there's been confirmation that it's going to be replacing The Walking Dead Living Nightmare, a maze that had been in that building around the back of. Um, Walking Dead ride since uh, Fright Nights 2017. So, what can I expect from this attraction? I think it's going to be decent. I, I, I hope there's some good theming in there. That the Living Nightmare building is brilliant. There's loads of space in there, so they can definitely bring the best out of this attraction. And hopefully, um, it'll last longer than two seasons before going seasonal, like I'm a Celeb and Saw Alive has in the past. But it is unknown whether he'll have live actors this year. So, yeah. And also, it's been confirmed to be opening late March. So, we're getting an opening at the start of the season instead of, like, Easter or May, as they have done in the past. And now it's time to talk about the year of events that we're getting in 2020. So, on the 21st of March, uh, Fort Park are kicking off the season with their annual pass day as normal. But in the evening of the annual pass day, they're doing an event with KISS FM called Saturday Night KISS. So the description for the Saturday Night KISS launch party is as follows. Fort Park is set to launch their 2020 season in style with KISS, hosting their first ever Saturday Night KISS at the resort on the evening of the 21st of March. Better still for this unique event, the gates to the theme park are being thrown open a week ahead of the official reopening on the 27th. Partygoers will get exclusive access to a selection of the resort's top rides for thrills after dark before dancing the night away until the early hours. With 5.4 listeners, uh, 5.4 million listeners a week across the KISS network, Saturday Night KISS at SNK is set to kick off Fort Parks Resort's Year of Infinite Thrills with KISS DJs Billy the Kid, Tyler West, S Scott Garcia and DJ Policy. Bringing some of the biggest floor fillers and club tunes and some of the top roller coasters ready and waiting. Your Saturday night is covered. Now, they're doing hotel packages in the Fork Shark cabins for £40 per person based on four people sharing. The event is an extra ticket price thing. It's £10. First come, first sub, but it's for over 18s only, and ID will be required. Um, I'm not going to be going to this event, um, mainly due to its annual pass day as well. And unfortunately, my annual pass has run out, and I, um, I haven't been able to renew it this season, which is a shame. But I'm hopefully going to get a new one at some point this year. So I won't be doing any annual pass events this year. Unfortunately, I didn't do any in 2019. I did some in 2018, I think. But I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy it as much. Um, but yeah, 
So Saturday Night Kiss is on the 21st of March, and it runs from 7 p.m. until I uh, till 2 a.m. in the morning. And annual pass date is, I do believe, 10 till 5. So if you're going to annual pass date, let me know. If you're going to Saturday Night Kiss, let me know, and tell me how it is. So then the next event, which is coming to Fort Park Resort this year, will run from the 4th of April to the 31st of May, and that is Hyper Spring. And the description is as follows. Launch into the 2020 season as we celebrate Hyper Spring. Unlock the cryptic code phrase as you ride some of Europe's most thrilling coasters in the Cosmic Six Challenge. Enjoy a brand new 2020 live show and indulge yourself with unlimited limited edition digital delicacies available at select outlets across the island. Plus, for May half time only, brace yourself for random coaster replays. Detonation delays and system overloads at the park battles a trans dimensional glitch with hyper ride roulette. I'm going to be honest, the bit about a uh, cryptic code phrase with the coasters, uh, it is very similar to uh, what they did at Fright Nights 2019 with um, the feared. Five challenge pretty much that is pretty much what it is it's the feared five challenge brought back I'll be personally honest I didn't I weren't that interested in feared five challenge at Fright Nights and I'm not particularly in not particularly fussed about cosmic six um, uh, the new show we don't know what it is. I presume maybe it might be in the Stealth Plaza or it might be um, it might be in the Lakeview Marquee where Game Effects was this year, uh, last year, sorry. So yeah, Hyper Spring I'm not too fussed about. But it's better than Game Effects, come on, like what the hell was Game Effects? <laughs> Simple, what was it? Next up is Supercharged Summer, which runs on the 18th of July to the 6th of September. So, this is the description. Visit between 18th of July and 6th of September this summer and soak up the frills with Supercharged Summer. Get drenched with friends and experience the UK's wettest water rides in the hashtag Super Soaked Selfie Challenge. Tantalise your taste buds with our otherworldly island foods and come face to face with our roaming entertainment team for a extra splash of adrenaline. Soak your mates, challenge your limits and splash into supercharged summer at Fort Park Resort. Supercharged summer, it's it's it, it, it's going to be better than, it's probably going to be better than Love Island Lakes from 2018, come on. Anyone who's been on this channel since Love Island Lakes, you'll know that I really hated that event. I only liked it because it had rides open until 10 and then they reduced it, which is a bit of a piss take in a way. Um, I just got this feeling that maybe they might bring back Bouncezilla for Supercharged Summer. If they don't bring back Bouncezilla, then I think it's going to be a bit of a loss because, you know, like Bouncezilla really brought in the crowds and he became, in a way, an enthusiast favourite. So it'll be interesting to see. And also roaming actors. Will we see more roaming actors? Again, hopefully they put some actors in Downbound's Ghost Train this year as well. Because when they were in there, that was pretty cool. Uh, also, quite recently, uh, Fort Park also announced that Jungle Escape is coming back for 2020. It's coming back for its second season. Not much to say, really. It's upcharge again. The pricing for it is a bit ridiculous. Non-annual pass holder is £5 and it's £4.50 of annual pass discount. So it's like, I'm not too happy Jungle Escape coming back now. I think if they had brought it back without the charge or a bit of a lower price, I think, you know, yeah, I don't know how much longer that attraction is going to go on for, to be honest. Maybe two seasons. All right, and finally, Fright Nights is back from the 3rd of October to the 1st of November. 2020. Uh, the lineup we do not know. Um, 
I am going to be doing a separate video on what I think will be coming to Fright Nights this year. At some point in the year. It might be soon. I don't know. But obviously with um, Black Mirror Labyrinth potentially replacing Living Nightmare. We may not see Living Nightmare coming back for its fourth year. And yeah, all my Fright Nights theories will be coming soon. So yeah. Uh, what, what are your opinions on uh, Fort Park's Year of Events and Black Mirror Labyrinth? Personally, if anything, I'm looking forward to Black Mirror Labyrinth. But yeah, uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.